This is Adriana Martinez with Titan Softball, and you're watching Titan Sports Recap. Tonight on Titan Sports Recap, the battle for first place begins between Titan Softball and Pacific. Titan Baseball also matches up with the Tigers as they try to hold on to their top spot in the Big West. And what's next for Titan Wrestling and Gymnastics now that they're officially terminated? All this and more on our Season 1 finale of Titan Sports Recap. Any final thoughts? Um, go Titans. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our season finale of Titan Sports Recap, bringing you the best video coverage of Cal State Fullerton Athletics. Derek Opina here along with Katie Hennessy and we're glad that you can join us. Titan softball and baseball began this weekend in first place in the Big West Conference and both squads took on Pacific looking to maintain their top spots. Titan baseball enters their series with Pacific in a bit of a slump losing three of their last four. They split the first two games with the Tigers and Corey Vest has the rubber match results for us. With the series tied 1-1, Cal State Fullerton took the field against Pacific on a sunny Sunday afternoon. Let's go to the highlights. Dylan Floro was on the mound. He took a 4-2 record into the game. On the other side, Jake Hummel took the bump for the Tigers. He pick up action in the bottom of the third. Tyler Pill with two on gets an RBI single to tie up the game 1-1. Bottom of the fourth inning now. Anthony Trujano at bat, 2-2 ball game. Bases jacked, slaps one into the outfield for a two RBI single. It's a 4-2 ball game now. Titans in the lead. Bottom eight now. We got ourselves a tie ball game again. 4-4 runner on. Carlos Lopez jacks that deep, but it's going to go foul. Don't worry though, very next pitch, he's going to need some butter because that thing is toast. He sends that into the trees. 6-4 ball game, that's how it's going to end. Give the Titans and Nick Ramirez the win. This thing's over. Titans improved to 30-13 and overall and 11-4 and in conference play. Now on to softball where Pacific enters the weekend is the Big West top hitting team. Ari Cervantes will look to keep their bats in check as the Titans try to salvage the final game of a three game series with the Tigers. Bottom first two outs with a runner on and Nicole Johnson sparks the Titan offense with a two run home run to left field. Her fifth home run of the season puts the Titans up 2-0. Still bottom first, Morgan Lamont the very next at bat and smack that is back to back jacks for the Titans. Lamont's second home run of the season puts the Titans up by three. Johnson at the plate again, this time bottom second, and she'll land one smack dab in the middle of no man's land. Johnson three for four on the day, and the Titans lead by five. Now top of the third, and the Tigers threatening. Nicole Matson sends one to right field, but Jenna Rubio robs her of the hit, ending the inning. Cervantes finishes with three strikeouts while scattering five hits. Bottom four now, runners on, and Ariel Tuchiyama. Lasers one to right center field. Tuchiyama finishes three for four with two RBI. And the Titan bats ignite for 17 hits as they defeat the Pacific Tigers eight to one. We had to forget everything. We had to forget what happened yesterday. It didn't matter, you know, who they threw. We just knew that we were going to come out and play our game. You know, uh, yesterday was horrible, but, you know, today we made a statement of who we are. Not, yesterday wasn't who we were. You know, once we get runs, I always have the mentality of going out and defending our runs that we get. So I think that's why we were able to hold them to one run. Really proud. I already did a great job. Um, yesterday, you know, it's not everyone's day, you know, but today she came out and forgot about yesterday and said, uh, you know, not today. It wasn't going to happen today. So she had a great attitude out there. Now, believe it or not, Cal State Fullerton used to have a fencing team. But when the economy spiked down, the fencing team was cut. The budget situation hasn't really improved since then, resulting in gymnastics and wrestling both being cut. Alex Stathis has more on that with what's next for Titan Gymnastics and Wrestling. Titan Wrestling and Gymnastics has been cut from the decision made by Cal State Fullerton President Milton A. Gordon 
Titan Wrestling was told they would be cut and they were given the opportunity to raise $450,000 in order to save the sport. Titan Gymnastics was told similar news and given a related opportunity. Titan Wrestling used different methods to persuade President Milton A. Gordon on why wrestling is important. Coach Dan Hicks was too distressed to talk to us on camera, but did comment through email. Over the past two years, I have done numerous interviews with little impact on President Gordon or ASI President Joe Lopez. They simply do not care about improving athletics at CSUF. ASI President Joe Lopez was not able to talk to us on camera, but did respond through email. I was not involved in the decision to discontinue these sports. We tried various ways to contact President Gordon, but were not able to get in contact with him. On the other hand, Titan Gymnastics have some comments on the different ways used to raise funds for their sport. We did a variety of things. One was um, events, special events. We did those last year. And we did an event with Nastia Lyukin, the gold medalist from the United States. But they all were not able to raise their funds. They were told they would be terminated at the end of the year. Because of this, they all ponder throughout their whole season what is next for them. A couple of the girls are definitely going to try and transfer and go to other schools that have gymnastics. They've been talking to you know uh, schools up north in California or in different states. Um, if they don't do that, they'll probably just finish. They remain faithful to their sport and team, but can faith be enough for Titan Wrestling and gymnastics to return? They were then told they still have a chance to raise the money. They were hit by roadblocks throughout their season. With an end to a hard-fought season for these teams came an end to an era for those of the wrestlers and gymnasts who were graduating in the spring, and even though they must continue with life, they still care for what happens with their younger teammates. Some of the younger wrestlers and gymnasts have to move on and continue for greatness with finishing up their academic year with knowing that this year was their last season. They have not raised the money, now President Gordon has decided their fate. So, what now for Titan Wrestling and Titan Gymnastics? We're just uh, trying to get the kids um, settled to what works for them best, their first choice, and I'm working on that with other schools. Hopefully they will be able to return in the near future to make CSUF sports history for years to come. From Historic Titan Gym, Alex Stathis, Titan Sports Recap. Here's your Titan timeline highlighting the biggest games coming in the next two weeks. You can catch Titan softball on ESPNU the weekend of the 7th as they take on rivals Long Beach State. The following weekend they will honor their seniors as they close out their season against Cal State Northridge the weekend of the 13th. And Titan baseball will again take on College World Series runners-up UCLA. And remember that you can catch all our work from our entire first season on our YouTube channel. Visit youtube.com slash titansportsrecap, follow us on Twitter, go to twitter.com slash csufsportsrecap, and make sure you find and like us on Facebook. Just search Titan Sports Recap in your search bar. That's going to do it for us for the rest of spring 2011. We'd like to thank you all for tuning in for our entire first season, and we can't wait to see you all again for our second season when fall semester 2011 begins. Now we're going to roll the best plays of the season during our credits. we got everything from women's, men's basketball, lacrosse, and even Titan ice hockey, so make sure you stick around for that. On behalf of the entire staff, I'm Derek Opina. I'm Katie Hennessy, and we'll see you guys next time.